really like the way you characterize this storm. This is a tale of two storms. It starts out one way, but then we're going to see something completely different, blizzard-like conditions. I, I know so many people are going to wake up tomorrow morning and say, where's the blizzard? Where's the wind? Right. And it, it's, it really is the first part of the storm, which starts later this evening and goes to, let's say, mid-morning tomorrow, is about a, a heavier wet snow. It's a mix at times at the coast. And then it turns over to this fine snow that's flying around, and the wind's kicking in, and we all go over to snow. So there's going to be a big transition you're going to notice mid-morning tomorrow. Outside tonight, it's just about setting the table with clouds right now. And, you know, there are some showers that are trying to come in in the form of rain and mix over parts of southern New Jersey and Pennsylvania, not reaching the ground just yet. I mean, it's just amazing. You see the school closings now. And I think it's a great call for places to do this. Now, at the same time, can you get around tomorrow morning closer to the coast? Yes, I, I don't think that it's totally snow and, and crippling at that point. But as we go through the day, you know, you're really seeing a lot of these closings, anticipating what's going to happen during the midday and afternoon hours. You could get the kids to school, but getting them home would be a dangerous situation. A winter storm warnings are up for the entire area. That'll go through the day tomorrow. Again, the thing working against the storm initially, warmer temperatures, some dry air. Now, to the north, it's cold enough. It's going to be mainly snow here, just north and west of New York City. See, that first leg of the storm is really defined by a low that's coming out of the Great Lakes. So it has an area of snow, not a lot of cold air with it, but it also has, you know, some of the moisture coming up the coast. And notice the rain snow line is just south and east of Philly here. So there will be a mix along the coast as it comes in later tonight and overnight into the first part of tomorrow. But as that coastal takes over, then everybody's going to go over to snow. So the arrival time about midnight to 2 a.m., a little longer than that in the northern suburbs. It'll arrive this evening over central and southern New Jersey as a mix. Now, this is a storm that dropped about 6 to 12 inches of snow in parts of the Great Lakes, but the jackpot amount, I mean, is going to be very close to the Philly, New York City area. And again, the amounts may be lighter along at the coast, but there'll be about 6 to 12 additional in D.C., 6 to 12 in Boston. Looking locally here, I really think we're still going to see a foot of snow in a lot of areas. Again, maybe the coastal areas are cut off a little bit. I try to make that adjustment at 6 o'clock tonight, looking at some of the new information. Some of the amounts will get lighter north and west of 287, but the one thing is, if this storm continues to look a little warmer, this 12 to 18 would have to be nudged a little farther north and west. So, you know, northern New Jersey and the Hudson Valley, don't count out the highest snow totals yet. Just would mean a few mile change. The other thing I wanted to mention in the storm, the other surprise thing, is within the heavier band of snow, we're going to see smaller bands, maybe even thunder snow that comes through during the afternoon, where they will come inland and they will go through different areas and the snowfall rates will be two to three inches an hour in those snow bands. So, you know, even if we mix a lot along the coast, if we start getting these snow bands in the afternoon, we could make up for the lost time that we had with the mixing. And that's why I'm a little hesitant to knock down some of the higher amounts on the coast just yet, because it could go pretty wild in the afternoon. The winds are going to be really gusty along the coast. There will be blizzard conditions in the afternoon hours. And the wind chills tomorrow afternoon, I mean, feels like 40 now. It'll feel like 10 to 20 by tomorrow afternoon. It's a classic nor'easter that moves out. The winds are still cranking on Thursday meaning blowing and drifting and still low visibility. So it's no cakewalk trying to get around on Thursday either. Here's your five-day AccuWeather forecast. The heavy snow and, again, allowing for the mix early along the coast, digging out on Thursday, and you clean the driveway off, and then the snow blows back on it again, 32 degrees. We get a dry spell headed into the weekend for a change, low and middle 30s. So you can see how many different parts of this storm. Yeah. Yeah. Moving parts. But a lot of intricacies. Yeah, we'll too get it for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.